man up against Astralis, of course. No easy task of for Oppo. Course. But let's see how he fares in the server. EG, T-side start, their map pick. Like said, picking Nuke against the Danes, dangerous territory indeed. But I believe clashes out device in hell blinded off the angle but he's going to go back in for more at this point they've already crisscrossed towards secret they won't take it though garage instead oboe leading from the front he's got a pt50 dropped over as well from his teammates so raid boss looking to raid their way into a device tapping won't be able to stop him but he does spot players getting into this a site and eg are running a muck oh look at zip waiting with the dual barrette and zip mix god do some damage do some oh only one with the dualies glaive it's ugly but luckily enough the rest of the gang are there to pick up the pieces and everything is under control yes we were never even worried yeah, like, Astralis weren't even rotating. They lose yard, oh, and that's... a lot of teams were, were panicking. You drop players B, expect an A split, and that's exactly what Astralis do. They just sit back, device waits in hell, watching them go back and forth between garage and main, and just reinforces that A bomb site. So, not really a, a problem for Astralis. Not really an issue. EG, looking to force the issue. Buying up Deagles in the second round, moving outside. They got the scout, too. I mean, you know you've got Astralis angry here. Like, they're thro froth angry. Yeah, frothing at the mouth to take a victory here. Maybe that sounds angry. more like rabid. No, yeah, maybe. Maybe angry is the wor wrong word, but you know they're not going to come in here sleeping like, oh, hey, guys, it's Pro League. It's easy. We're just going to chill. Like, these guys are gunning for a, a victory here. They fell out in Kato, and maybe not the way they wanted back in the quarters. It's been a month to the day tomorrow since Astralis have played an official, and so you know they will have used that time well. Although Stan said that EG have been playing here you know, 12 hours a day. They've been really grinding. They've been really going for it. So let's see the fruits of their labor and if they pay off. Oh, Magisk. They're starting to come in through ramp. But he's got Zip drawing the attention in back in the site. And so Magisk should be pretty... Forget I even said anything. They're both dead. They're both dead. This was meant to be a little one-two punch. They just die in tandem. Live together, fight oh. together, die together for Astralis right now. They're down to just two. The pistols have killed everyone that's challenged them. Glaive and Device left up, but they're probably just saving. Like, Device hasn't even left the upper side. He's out of there. Oh, that's a little grisly. Yeah. Feels good for EG, though. That'll get him pumped. Taking their force by early on. Yeah, it felt good for Astralis for a second, right? They drop off ramp, they don't take a casualty, and, and then into the B bomb site, EG Storm, taking a flawless round as well. So getting out with a lot. Upgrades are in. And Astralis broken, right? We often say winning that second round, especially on T side, if anything, better than winning the pistol. Not something you can account for or play for, but if you do manage to get it under your wing, you absolutely wreck Astralis' money, right? And, and that is off of the back of, you know, the, the, the money change, not the recent one, but the, I guess the more recent one where you get more money if you lose the pistol. You get 19. But if you lose the second round, well, it resets back to 40. Hey, so. Do you not remember when that was brand new and it was everyone was like, Whoa. Yeah, we still call it the new money system. We still call it the it's new... Like despite old. being pretty yeah. old now. I think we're just kind of hoping, begging, praying for any change to the money at this point. Like, or just really anything. Please. <laughs> just, you know... Come in you, and, uh, and just even if you ruin something. I've got I've got a great idea. How about hundred kills with a mag seven in deathmatch? Oh, and that's give you pretty a star. Sick. Yeah. But for every kill you get, you have to kill two chickens as well. Yeah. With a knife. Every three seconds. Every three kills is five chickens. So it's a three to five conversion ratio. Interesting. And that's how you get your star. I'll get it in the notebook. Pass on to Zonic. Right now, smoke's outside. That's a hell smoke coming down for EG, but they're not going that way. They're going to walk ramp. Cirque with a scout looking for a pick. Very low. One shot from death. And Magis, he loves dishing out death. So he let's loves see if death. He can. Yeah, well, giving it, <laughs> not receiving it. Dupree on top of the boost, spamming with a deagle. Oh, it's a mop up. Absolute catastrophe for EG. Four players here at the ramp room. They've got the bomb. They've got the round. It's just about making it look pretty if you're Tarek.
And while he is good for one, his journey comes to a pretty abrupt end. Astralis, okay. they might have given away <laughs> that second round, right, to the force by VG, but they're quick to claim it back with a force of their own. And keeping four alive is absolutely huge, right? Building up any kind of residual money when you're going in these force by wars, like back and forth is just is just so advantageous. Now, EG, this is a big <laughs> bald buy. Tarek, given an orb, or oh, sorry, Did he not buy given, it? He, yeah, bought he bought the orb. It. Tarek buys this gun, doesn't have armor. The rest of the team do. Tarek is glass cannon. Surrounded by pistol players. So, See, this is Tarek farming content, yeah. right? He, you know, huge balls to go for this play. Now a hoe in his hands and he's looking to farm some content. Yeah. So this is either content or give device an orb. It's one or the other. Smoke into secret from main. Glaive is set up by his teammate to play a one way. Astralis have all the little tricks. Glaive's like, mate, I don't have a smoke. They're like, don't worry, buddy. We got you. Tarek gets tagged. Oh, he's a dead man. If he crosses, Glaive... Can't lose his fight unless Tarek goes above the boost, but he's not lucky at secret with the smoke down. Glaive throws a Molotov. Now he gives away his position. Tarek's still just getting abused by flashbangs. Can't see anything. Finally gets a kill. Device. Why is he on orb? It's round four. Device is wondering. EG can wrap this A site. They can get into main right now. Oboe's taking the bomb that way. Instead, reroutes to hell. Tarek's still behind red with the AWP and Oboe pushed up. Zip holds the top of heaven and two players in the lockers. Goodness me, this is a devastating setup here. Look at how serious Magis oh. looks. Well, <laughs> serious yeah, again. man, you can look as serious as you like. There's no recovering from that. Luckily enough, uh -oh. Glaive and Zip are going to uproot it. And now uh -oh. Tarek giving the orb over. Oh dear, Stanislaw, 1v3, just wants to die. Or maybe not, as he goes back oh, into the lobby. Stan, is he about to save the Deeg armor? Yeah, like it's worth more than he'd get in loss bonus, sure. But I'd imagine that they would start ecoing at this point and start accumulating bonus and then buying up in two rounds. Like, maybe he's scared that if he goes out ramp, they'll kill him after time. But yeah, that kind of screws him here, right? Because now everyone can buy in the next round, but he can't. Nonetheless, we're seeing Astralis look as Astralis always look, or, you know, should look pretty good right now. They get the orb back, device given an AWP for free. That certainly feels nice. He's yet to frag his own one. He's not really seen anyone. Well, now's his chance. Look at Stanislaw trying to put this Deeg armor to good use. He hears the outside push and EG. Look at this. This is new. They're all just hanging out, line dancing back in the lobby, having a great time. It's more like a conga line, yeah, it's but very it's very stationary. Dance, yeah. Very, very stationary. Stan, hoping for kills. Not getting any. Very menacing, though. Like, you've yeah. got to give it to them. You wouldn't want to run into these four gents in a lobby push. What if they run into you, Harry? Oh, here they are. Here they are. The the conga line. And here they are. And still here. They are. Outside. Wave winds. Here they come. <laughs> There they go. Out through ramp. Oh, Device. No. They're here. And now, Dupree. There it is. Nice. Astralis up to four. Are you okay? And there they go. <laughs> well, oh, the here they are, the harder they fall. That's what they say. <laughs> that was good, Hugo. That was actually pretty quick. Even for you. Even for me. Wow. Well, credit where credit is due. And all to me. And Astralis, 4-1, looking good. They deal with the eco. Stan's now, well, forcing because he saved on uh, an eco round or a force round. So that sucks, right? You, you obviously want more utility on your in-game leader, but throws some grenades. 
And EG go back to A, throwing in utility early. Stan actually burns that man. He doesn't need a gun. He just burned out Dupree. How did that even happen? Just getting mollied out of the round. Might have been on the hot roof, blinded and just burning and not knowing he's burning. That could have been the case. Even so, EG, they take the ramp. They go quick and they drop down below. Magis is here. Breezy with a rifle. Try to clear him and he does. That's a big kill to give EG this sight. They love B right now. Their only two rounds in this game have been these fast ramp to B plays with no response, no comeuppance from Astralis, and they're going to have to save. Device moving out with the AWP already, and yeah, Glaive joins him, so not really much that Astralis can do. You lose your couple B players early, that's pretty much what it leads to on Nuke nowadays. So, save City. And a secured round for EG with five alive, and Stan even gets an upgrade. What's not to love? During our little break, I saw on Instagram, S-Tag, put up a story. Uh, him and Dupree yeah. hanging out at the the gym together. Nice. I'm assuming that's recent and not just like an old picture that he decided to re-upload and pretend is still a thing. But regardless... Oh, dear. Yeah. That's a rough molly spray. Yeah, it's man. not even on the hot roof. Yeah. Like he smoked it and it's on He's the He's thinking rafters. like, yeah, it's chill. Yeah. And of course, Molotov's okay. very reasonable, as we all know. Uh, I'll translate what my colleague's saying. He's saying they're unreasonable. Uh, that's typically what the sarcasm means. But yeah, they can climb walls, man. They go up, they go down, they go all around. So you've got to keep your distance. Glaive flashed out outside. The smokes are down. There were mollies thrown. Did any of them disrupt smokes? We've even got a player on the roof, Dupree. No one's outside, though. Device is orping in the hut. Oboe could meet his... Deadly end here. He's 0 4 right now. If he walks forward, he will be 0 5. Uh, There's almost no way to get out of here alive. And luckily, he's not in a hurry. I don't want to watch this. It's, it's putting me on edge. <laughs> it is just balancing it a pixel away from certain death. Device on the angle. An oboe. Oh, boy. Oh, device is going to walk it in. And there's that orb delivering. No trades either. Everyone else is over here towards the door. Now they attempt to drop the Ooh. vent. Sips looking up the ladder, and they're already in his face. Maybe a bit of a miscommunication there as to what was going on. I mean, it looked like an A play, right? It certainly did with the player in the hut as well, but they just take the flashes and they take the space they have down B. Sip was trying to climb up. He was getting ready to do so, but the timing of their drop was right as he looked at the sky. Couple of unfortunate situations for Astralis and EG manhandle the way down to B. All believing in the call together, though. I like that, right? Even as crazy as it may seem, if everyone does it, well, it works. And they find a third. Astralis left to save in many of these rounds already. This is no exception. Tarix even grabbed the orb as well, so... Winning our EG. At least with the money right now. But Astralis can come back in with a rebuy. They can have that orb once more on device. Oh, this is it. We're so dead, man. Tarek up in his face. Just all over him. And now EG building back into this game at 3-4. to four. You've got the reinvestment in for Astralis. I'm hoping we can see Device try and deliver once again with this AWP. He opened that round up, right? But then in the blink of an eye, the B bomb site falls apart. Zip and Magisk have both been getting dealt pretty rough hands on these B plays, consistently going down early and, uh, and giving up the site, and with it, a man advantage as well. This time they send Device down towards B Ooh. early and he's posted up in secret. He could peek these outside players who right now have just walked to behind red. There are a lot of eyes on this position and yet still Device is good for the first. A second peek proves to be Ooh. a little overzealous and Tarek, Sirk and Breezy come in with a kill each in a matter of seconds to flip this back in favor of EG. And now they're on their way to putting up a four. So many of these rounds are just going that way, right? Like five fights in, in, in a moment. And then it's decided like Astralis have even either won in a dominant fashion or they're left to save. And EG have got another bomb site. What a play from them. Like Device, he he is about to walk into four players holding him. Then as they start to move by red, he peaks, he hits perfect timing. But then going back for it, well, Cirque's posted on him with the AWP, so. 
was never going to be more than one. But even his teammates crunching from main, from yard, get denied as well. EG, they look pretty, pretty good individually right now. They're hitting all the headshots. We're not seeing anything too, you know, tactical. They're just getting a lot of fights and winning them. Four to four. It's looking good. No need to throw in any kind of crazy fakes with these little group ups they're doing and, and just winning engagements. So, yeah, some body blocking and not holding them back. Cirque with a, a key kill to keep things from spiraling out of control into device. And now he's going to go back in with another AWP. Dropped over, but the money other than that isn't pretty good. So it might be an eco here for Astralis as they wait for that to build. Two guns to do it and do Priest still armored. I love how in that clip there, Tarek is almost, it almost looks like he's just aware of like everyone's just blocking each other. And so he's just like, well, I'll just run towards them then. And then that's what propels them into the A play in the first place. You got the AWP in Device's hands, Kit on Dupree and Magisk as well, and a nice bit of utility. You know, there is still a chance for Astralis in this round, especially with these two big rifles still in play. Smokes pour over outside. Look at how many smokes have just gone down. There's also some in the doors, man. This is smoky outside, and moving behind it is Tarek. Oh, the fade favors Breezy. Damn, that's a killer blow to one of the rifles in this round. Majisk is gone, and that is irretrievable now with EG owning this real estate. They're going to run boost over the AWP. It's usually to stop a Heaven player, but hey, it would have worked versus Device 2. Unfortunately for him, he's looking the wrong way. And now they're creeping it up on him. Oh, did they spot his head? Breezy should have seen. He'll tuck. He'll wait for Device to overextend and that he will. Device has come around the corner and he has no idea. You could even knife him. Oh, he spins, still dies. Obo looking for a pick onto the A site and that would just allow EG to burst out. They've got 25 seconds. Breeze is coming from upper. Two CT still here to deal with it. Oh, Dupree blindsided. Glaive in the site while well, he is good for one. This heaven wrap will be his undoing. Breezy arriving just in time to deal with that site player. And so now the reinvestment's coming back in for Astralis, but there's no ignoring the fact that EG in these like rifle head-to-head -head rounds have often found dominant victories, right? Mm. It was only on the back of Astralis winning that that like counter to the force by, yeah. you know, after they lose the uh, the the anti-force in round two. It was really only that and breaking the money of EG that set them up to this score live right now. In the rifle rounds, EG have won the majority of them. So certainly sets a scary tone here. Yeah, and as far as four rifle rounds go, this is the weakest one yet for Astralis, right? No orb, no kit, utils a miss. So it is going to come down to those early engagements. And again on ramp, if Majisk is the first to fall, that gives EG an open path to be. There's no one playing lower right now. Majisk needs to go about the protocols right. He drops the Molotov. He goes ahead, but they flash him off. The bomb is out on its own. Tarek leading the charge. His team was separated by a molly. And Astralis, that smoke is a middle finger in the face of EG. Falling off the box, Zip gets Obo out of the round. Not how he wanted that to go. 0-7, oh the agent in the server right now. Slow to start but they need to be strong to finish. Zerk with a kill. Back out A with another for Stan. Zip gets the dink off, and Dupree is cleared from below. They haven't got the bomb, but they're getting all the kills. What? Glaives are up in the lobby through outside. They, they still don't have the bomb, and so now they're they boosting into, into the, the hut. They oh, didn't yeah. even boost on the rafters, which I thought is what we were going to see there. Instead, now they go back into the lobby. They flush out Glaive, and now they remember, like, okay, we need to get the bomb. Well, Magisk... <laughs> He's now worried about a potential heaven boost. He's worried about a main wrap, right? EG could go anywhere. And so he's looking at hell, but both players are coming in from the lobby. Low HP on Stan and he's out of the round. Oh. Magis though, can't double up, can't get past Breezy. He puts up another 3K in that round there. That was a three on five. That with the bomb loss, that was nothing for EG. They had no position. And they just walk out A and get two kills out of nowhere. Also, there was like overfacing from Astralis, right? And that is not something I 
ever associate with Astralis. Device gets caught trying to trying to exploit a gap in that ramp smoke. Well, you know, Cirque had been holding on to it the entire time. And so that was just a free kill for the T-side AWP. Zip's caught fighting at the doors. And so now they're back down to, to another partial buy on Astralis. Yeah, great rounds out of EG. Like they are they are really impressive right now. Breeze is looking, oh my goodness, Dupree, you mad man. He goes through the Molotov, full send, does die, but he gets one and the Deegs might just do it after all. Breeze has got to deal with the vice. He is hanging around a garage and Zip has the cover here. He has the kill on a plate, doesn't hit it. But he's got more opportunities. Breezy dropping a smoke and Device is still waiting for his time to strike. Oh, he's been caught from the sideline. Stan and Breezy close it out for EG. There was a chance there for Astralis with the Deagles, but averted was that crisis. And seven rounds found for EG. Breezy 15 and four, absolutely melting the Danes right now. We had a little discussion right before we headed into this game. Hugo in that nice little hour break. And I said, I'm I'm expecting a big game out of Breezy. Yeah, always can. And, and that's exactly what we're getting. Now, we did also have, I think it was Connor Gervin, Mr. Scrawny coming in, voicing his support for Obo, saying that he thinks he's going to unleash upon Astralis. Well, hopefully we see that come full circle and then everyone's happy today. That said, you know, I don't think you're bringing Oboe in to be some necessarily like mad fragger right away, right? I think you're expecting there's going to be a bit of an adjustment period for him. Getting used to this again and whatnot. And also knowing that like if you're Oboe, there's a lot of eyes on you right now, yeah. right? Like everyone's wanting to see what you can deliver. So the yeah. pressure's there early and, you know, EG is still winning. Sure, he's yet to frag, but that's that shows you know great reliance on the team. Like the the plan is working out wonderfully. Oh my goodness, Glaive pushing through the smokes. It's going to go back. The Molly hits him on his retreat. Doesn't do damage, but it does make noise. He's got a little gap under that smoke. So if Tarek does aggress, he should be dead. And oh, Glaive goes into the angle. Tarek dinked, but still wins. And that that feels like how so many of these fights are going for Astralis. Like they have the advantage. They're ready. They get dink, and then they die. So EG sitting pretty once again, breathing a sigh of relief. Device going outside with the AWP, looking for a kill. Breeze is behind red. Tarek is moving out from main as well, so there's a chance for Device to pounce. Oh, and he hits a good timing. A huge kill to take away as well, right? You get rid of Breeze, you think about how instrumental he's been. Well, now oh. you've cut the head off the beast. There's still a few more left. And Obo gets his first kill. It's a big one at that. Dealing with device wrapping main. Is that oh. going to be enough to save the day? It is. With Cirque lining up a double to put eight on the board for EG. Try as Astralis might to break through this EG offensive. They can't seem to get these rounds over the line. It's another one where briefly they have an advantage and then suddenly by by just a few individuals it's all stripped away yeah i, I, I love watching Cirque when he's feeling it as well right like obviously there's a lot of names on this team there's a lot, a lot of reasons to be excited about eg but, but the bulgarian beast is for me one of the main ones right not the only of his kind to be brought into a mix of well north american talent as well right think about Cole. you can draw parallels there poison is uh, quite the talent and Cirque, when he's on form, boy, do you know about it? Astralis figure out the hard way. A couple of kills from him to close the round and a broken buy for the Danish side as EG just sit back and relax. Everything's fine. Everything's breezy. No pressure. Bleed out Astralis' as util. Bleed out the clock. See, I am, I am wondering, like, what happens if, if we don't ever see Magis? I say ever. ever. You know, that's a bit long-winded. But, like, what if, for, for the time being, we never see Magis recover, right? What if the solution does end up becoming that, that maybe he does need, like, a little break to kind of, you know, like, yeah. reset, get back into it? Hey, Only it's... Astralis had someone who could step in and fill that void. Yeah, on, on a map like Nuke as well, right? If only, on a map like Nuke. If only there <laughs> was someone, Harry. <laughs> Oh, Look dear. at this, man. A little fast A play, maybe? Ah. Utility going in? Nah, it's yeah. all the ruse. Back into the ramp room. Astralis ain't falling for it, though. They still have two strong here. Device holding from hell, getting pressured. Tarek forces him away. Magisk is good for one with the Deagle in the ramp room. 
To be fair, he has had a very, very rough time in ramp. Like, whenever yeah, these hits have come ball. in, it has not been easy. It's been a situation where you're just left fighting to the death. Ooh. Dupree in with one on the deagle. Hurting. Oh, make it a second. Ooh. Oh, Dupree not stopping. Just breezy left, and he's got to put on a clinic. He's in with the first, but there's the tag from Device to get the trade. And Astralis... When they've got time, when they've got the early information that it's the B play and those rotations come in all at once, they're able to get it yeah. over the line. So often, right, these B takes have come down to EG taking fast ramp control, dealing with Magisk, and then Zip is normally the second man to rotate in, and they're oftentimes ready for it. This time, Astralis had everybody in the right place at the right time and they end up finding a round on the back of it. Yeah, say what you want about Astralis, say what you want about their current form. There's no question on whether they know what they're doing, right? Like, they're, they're so ready for that one. EG throw utility into A, but they, they contact ramp. And at that point, Astralis, even though they're, they're covered in Molotovs and Smokes on A, they just drop B, they go down the vent. They know it's a lower take. They know if they lose ramp, EG are heading lower. It, it makes sense with how they set up the round. So no falling for it. And big kills out of Dupree to keep Astralis above water. EG still won the half, right? Worst case scenario, it's an 8-7. But can they make it a little bit more pretty? Can they find double digits? Glaive moving outside. The smokes are down. He can't molly them in time to have any significant impact. He might just molly secret as they cross, but they're not in a hurry. Playing sneaky again. Some smoke spam, but nothing devastating. Oh, oh, I changed my mind. Oh, <laughs> I like nothing you. devastating, huh? Nothing devastating. Oh, that will set you up for a round. Didn't even see him. Double headshot through smoke. Zai Woohoo. Glaive is back for more. He's going to manage to get out of there. Crossing as well. Zip holding on that A site. New roll just as ready for Oboe. Circle the miss flick. And still hiding behind the, the garage as Glaive, just causing commotion, oh, drawing attention. He dives out of there. Breezy doesn't even see him. Zerk's come in, come in for support. He does hit that shot. Scared of secret. There could be aggression from B. There is Magis down below. Device has his other AWP up close, and that gets heard. The scope. Breezy climbs above Device. Oh, he's so aware, but he's not going to be able to stop him. He's this time. He goes out with the Deagle to hunt what? his kill. Oh, it's missed. Device. Uh! He's got a spin. Zerg fighting behind the box. 20 seconds. Zip kills Breezy off the top of the tower, and Zerg does hit his flick, but he's only got 15 on the clock. Got a clear zip. Oh, it's a missed shot, and now up the vent oh. comes another. Zip doesn't need your help. Oh, what a wild round. What? The yeah, entropy. that was... That was wild, man. Device is, like, swinging them with the deagle. At least he comms it, and it's big that actually, right? He might not get the kill, but he relays that info to Zip, who's then keeping an eye on Heaven and gets away with the frag. That double up from Glaive through the smoke proves to be massive. And Cirque, you know, you got a little bit worried because yeah. I've seen this guy in this exact position get away with, with some crazy clutches that should never happen. And he seemed very, very aware yeah. of the setup that Astralis were bringing in there. They're, they're thankful that that AWP shot onto Zip at the vents doesn't connect. This is a wild game, though. It's exactly what we wanted. Magisk on the AWP as well. He didn't need to fire it off. He was in the vent as a backup there. Having him on ramp maybe makes things just that little bit easier, right? Getting a shot off, getting a, a near guaranteed kill and a chance to retreat. That's a nice feeling as a ramp player. So we'll see if that holds any weight in this round. EG have seemed you know, keen to take ramp in, in many positions. So maybe again. Couple outside. Obo. Oh, he's been in hut in most of these rounds, just defaulting and often just getting picked right on the on the you know, it's it's a hard it's a hard spot to play. It's a hard way to get into A without the right utility coming in from roof. And we've not actually seen like a flat A execute coming out from you know T roof Molotovs and players busting out the door at the same time. It's more often just been mid round takes on A or splits from main or Breezy taking heaven. So yeah, it's not really surprising given the uh, position Oboe's playing that he's having a tough time. Uh, and it's Astralis as well. Like, you know, welcome back to CS. Here's the best team in the world, or formerly once was, and is looking to keep that title into 2021. Fake smokes outside for EG. Not many me uh, members moving behind as they still hold the lobby. Breezy gonna try and take a bit of real estate, going above the boxes, clearing close. Glaive will hear the footsteps though. And he even has a gap. He can see feet. He can see that no one's crossed here. And so even though EG don't have 
any info off of this. Astralis have not fallen for the B fake. They're still stacked five top side. And back to ramp, Magisk with the orb could be the answer. Oh, there's a missed shot from Magisk. They're coming his way, and he will pick up the second now, trying to get himself out of danger. Even oh. more where that came from, Magisk will give us two in the round, and maybe that's enough here for Astralis to 7-8 this half. Time. Quite the turnaround when it looks so dominant, right, EG? Yeah, time is becoming a problem. He starts to get this bomb down. No one from Astralis could deny it, so they've at least managed that. Oh. They might spot Breezy, but Cirque's left this even. The Vice flanks the man over in secret, but still with Oboe and Cirque alive in the sight and time ticking off of this bomb, Astralis have got to pick up the pace. Cirque, double kill already in the round. Flashed off the angle, just a barrage of flashes. Dupree's going to deal with him. Oboe, well, he is good for the first. That's the extent of him in that round there. And so Astralis, they find seven. They manage to pick it back up and they finish this with, it, with the uh, EG squad only slightly in the lead. Now can we see Astralis bounce back on their T side? Or are EG going to deliver on their map pick? Your best, my average, there's a reason for that's a fact So they snapping back, mad at the fact that I don't have a backup plan I need that, now I work on everybody when I relax So I ain't tripping about none of y'all feedback Air that, wonder when I'm gonna peek at And that's why you count your blessing While I count that in my winnings We take fifties and hundreds and throw them up to the ceiling Everything I... Well, EG, commanding lead. That then got closed right on up by Astralis to round out the half. And so now we have a nice even affair on our hands, Hugo. EG are leading the way still, right on the back of eight rounds. It 
pissed around victory might put a bit more pace, bit more, bit more girth behind Astralis. That's always what you want, right? Astralis looking for a long series here. Or a quick 2-0. That would obviously be the game plan. EG are not making it that easy. Though. Look at the info EG have right now. They've cleared lobby. They've just double pushed it with a flash. Astralis outside with five. And EG, it's no surprise. Players cross secret more. Go hell. How far will these Hellgate players get? That's the worry that you're just going to get cut down by Heaven Peaks or Lockers players. Well, Dupree's actually found Oboe in that position, so it's certainly a good start. Stan coming from above is actually avoided. Now the call is made as they come back up secret. You've got to watch your Heaven device. Serg getting a kill, and Stan bounds out towards the ramp side. Four on three. Astralis are all over A. Yeah, Dupree hits a... Oh, 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 oh no. What? Oh, no. Why? They've lost the bomb. Breezy. He takes those fights all day long. Don't feed him anymore. Low HP on Breezy, but still a threat. Both players trying to come and deal with him. Stan still all the way back, rotating in through this A bomb site to offer some help. Breezy just ducks out of there. Stanislaw oh. could wipe out Astralis in this pistol. Zip will come in with the tap. And so now it's Zipnik's in the clutch versus a low HP Breezy. Oh, Ooh. Zip clinical. The clean headshot to find it. Astralis, they save that pistol round. They uproot Breezy and Stan's efforts. And so they tie this game up at 8-8. Eight to eight. Well, I don't know why Astralis went back for that kill. They had Zip in the garage the entire time. They have the bomb in main. And, and like, obviously, you've got confidence. You want to win the fight. You want to just, ah, oh, he's there. That's just double peak and kill him, right? But they have the bomb. They have A. They can just walk in right there with a the player in heaven. And Zip could have cut off that rotate from garage. But Astralis, they double down. They try and fight it. It almost costs them the round. Big pat on the back of Zip. Thank him for winning that one for you, because you almost threw it away and gave EG back the momentum. They could still steal it with a force. There are force by wars going on early in this map anyway. And EG have certainly won them before. They're going to go back for it. Astralis fast down the B side, not from ramp. It's the smoke cross from three out of five. And now they have control of B. They can get the bomb plant in inside of that smoke. Nades do some damage. Oboe can't pick a side because either one is exploding. Dupree won't push much closer. He backs off in the post plant, makes EG work for their first kill because Astralis uh, can flash off either side if they want to re-aggress. Tarek is coming late to clear yard. Will he check this corner? Zip. Oh, he turns and he jumps. That may have been Zips. He actually swipped, uh, swapped weapon as well. This is a mess. Yeah, hits him with the swip swap, but now it's taken away. And Dupree digged out of the round. Oh, Jump okay. shot in response. <laughs> And Cirque is left running for the hills. Now they're trying to chase him. They're trying to deal with him. Oh, but he might get out. Might live to tell the tale. There's the repeak from Magisk. And so they even take the scout away. A nice little bonus there. Astralis are now back in the lead at nine to eight. The four spy means EG have just got to sit on their laurels and take an eco here. God, that was a, a scary round, but leaving two lurkers as well was a good idea for Astralis, right? Not just having one outside, but having another in A. Cuts off two out of three points of rotation to the B bomb site. Would you sit on your laurels or your Yanni? I'm going to ignore that. <laughs> That's such a weird date. Like, is it dated? I guess you'd say it's yeah, dated, right? Yeah. It's pretty dated. Pistols at ramp. That's it. That's what's happening in this round. Vanilla pistols as well. Ooh. That's a good band name. Vanilla the, pistols. The vanilla pistols. What would like the first that. album be? Uh, yeah, I've really thrown you under the bus there. Quick. Be funny. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it is, man. I, I don't know. Tarek's got a flash. Breeze's got a P250. Not quite vanilla. It's got some strawberry in there as well. Maybe their first one could be like, maybe the first album is like unique selling point, but like it's shortened to USP. Nice. I like that. There wow. we go. Okay. Smart man. Little Smart. delayed, little delayed, but yeah. we get there in the end. <laughs> Much like Astralis putting this 10th round on the board.
Oh, I forgot. Really the bomb. delayed because they got to go back and get the bomb. Yeah, Tarek's got a flash, so I think I think they're just going to go through heaven and he'll just flash them. Just have the a just have a whale of a time. Yeah. Just see what you can get away with, Ooh. right? It's one of these rounds where you say, "Yeah, I'm flashing, boys, just running." Maybe we get one. Maybe we all die in a blaze of glory, and this gets put on Twitter on the socials, and you know we look like fools. But maybe that what? doesn't happen. Here's yeah. the flash. In they go, blinded. Magis can do pre. Going to spray them down. And so in the end, that kill that they were hoping for never comes through. Easy and free. No problem for Astralis. Now the orb comes out for Cirque as well. He had some good rounds on that T side, saving EG in many positions. Breezy still just storming right now. Like Oboe's had a slow start, but Breezy has really picked up the pace and picked up the pieces of the rounds. 20 and 11. But this is it, right? This is where he can get out of control and Astralis can just do as Astralis often do and, and run away with this game. So EG really need the first rifle round. Also, like, while in the first half it was all good that, like, Breezy was doing a lot and he seemed very comfortable doing that, this is where we need to get more mileage out of the rest of the gang. Cirque, someone else who's also been looking good in this map, and he's opened the round up for EG. Oh. Oh, no doesn't live to tell the tale, though. Glaive is going to trade that kill out. And so now we're into a four-on-four four with Astralis starting to make these secret crosses happen. No outside info provided. Stan has rotated into this position, but he doesn't know if players are crossing secret or if they're taking garage. And so EG decide that now is the right time to try and steal some lobby control away. At the same time, Stanislaw has dropped Dupree outside. And so this round really has been uprooted for Astralis. They lose lobby. They lose the outside lurk. And so suddenly what was looking good is now plunged into a two on four where you've got very little control. And you're desperately looking for a way back in. This fight could give you that way back in. This could be the opener you were looking for. All comes down to if Device can deal with Stan, and he can't. Yeah, that's the bomb loose as well. Now Stan can call for help from the ramp player if they want, but really you don't need to move. You know, Glaive is so hard pressed to get anything out of this situation. 30 seconds, Stan jiggling for info, playing it very safe, and he gets the spot off as well and just goes back in. No fear for Stan, leading with three and taking EG's first gun round. They needed that, right? It was said it was a necessity, and you wanted more people to step up. Well, Breezy doesn't even do anything in the round. It's all Stan, baby. Cirque as well with an opener. So that's a, a good sign for the, the rest of the gang here on EG. Oh, Stan, baby. His new mixtape dropping this fall. When is fall? I don't know. I'm English. I think it's autumn for us. Couldn't tell you when autumn is either. <laughs> but look at this, man. You got a bit of utility getting lobbed into this A bomb site. Nothing that Astralis are going to look to go on the back of. Instead, they just kind of sit back towards outside and see if anything is presented to them. I like moving Cirque through B early as well. He's actually not going to peek secret and fight outside despite Astralis being slow. He's holding for a vent drop. So smokes have come down and EG have tasked him with that. But eventually he'll return to secret. And so much can come of this right now because even though Astralis aren't putting numbers behind it, that's something Cirque can confirm. Glaive on a lurk gets into garage. So Cirque can peek up and go, guys, yard's clear, but he's just holding right now. And he's saying no one's made a beast. There will be no rotates. Astralis hold on to their, oh, sorry, EG hold on to their spots right now. Obo, he is in a one and done. He is in a very committed position and he can't get any support from hell either. So pressure's on to at least get that one. But even then, it might not be enough. Stan just waiting for Glaive on this Lurk. They know the smokes are down. Estrides could be anywhere right now, but they pop in wrap. There's Obo with a kill. He gets what he needs. Dupree pushing in further. Stan backs out, and he needs to be ready for Glaive, who is on that Lurk. Oh. Spotted now. The info's there. Cirque is still wondering what's going on down in the empty B bomb site. And Estrides, they go back to lobby. They're not taking B. EG are going to realize soon. Yeah, this has all gotten a little bit weird, especially with Glaive getting spotted here. 15 seconds as they try to make this happen, and Tarek has just rotated up from B. We'll get swept aside by Magisk. However, waiting at oh, the fence no. is Breezy. The bomb needs to go down. Cirque is in an impossible <laughs> spot, and Glaive holds the vent to make sure Astralis Great. don't drop that round. Breezy 11 to 9. And yeah, Breezy could have ended everything oh. right there and then. Luckily enough, Device has got his teammates back, was scoped up with that AWP in the door. 
there's nothing inherently wrong with like peaking that and, and knowing, you know, getting the kill could be everything, like getting the bomb loose. But even if he doesn't peak, even if he doesn't do anything, he would have won the round because there wasn't time. If Astralis get on the site and go for the stick, which they really had to at that point, there were 10 seconds. Breezy, if he pounced a little bit later, doesn't matter if he, if he dies, uh, he would probably just get one there and that would be enough. That's very unfortunate. Breezy has had no kills in this half, really, since the pistol, in fact. So, bit of a worrying sign. And right when EG needed him, he could not answer the call. Astralis come back in with a round. Yeah, something else that, you know, like, must feel a little bit rough is that in, in that first half, having Breezy, like, really feeling it. We all know what it's like when you're playing with someone who's just having a great game or if you're having a great game, right? Like, T-side, you can feel unstoppable, man. Like, you can just create all this room for your team. You never even really have to ask some of the more quiet players to deliver anything apart from, like, holding an angle as long as we had people like Breezy there to open the round up. But now CT-side, where suddenly that responsibility is spread out across the entire team, while well, these players that had a very, very easy first half, right, and were never really required to uh, to step up massively and now being relied upon to hold down key areas of the map. I think Obo is a good example here, right? Like four and 16, trying to help out over here towards ramp room. Well, you need him to put up kills. He is going to get flashed in in this position. And so maybe this can reignite some confidence if he gets away with something here. Stanislaw is lining up the flash to make this happen. Oh. But Zip's playing anti. There's nice. the turn. Zip is in with the kill and Obo gets deleted. How are they ready for that, bro? Like, Astralis, two guys there looking into the flash. One not, and that's all you need. But just covers up the flank. The push into lobby denied. Oh, low ammo. Stan can't kill device. He gets him down to 10. Not enough. Breezy now, one on four. He's got himself an AK. They're already out heaven in that A site. So his lurk late is going to be exactly as I said, late. Astralis can just throw the bomb into A and win the round. Breezy needed to stop it getting up there and he had a chance, but just looking to save now. Bomb planted, 12 rounds for Astralis. Nice try at the eco. Can't believe Zip is ready for that. But that's just Astralis for you, man. Yeah, I'll catch him sleeping. I think that's one of the one of the roughest things about facing Astralis is like even when they're not in that incredible form, you know, like when, when they've really like kicked it into sixth gear, because we know Astralis can deliver that. But even when they are in like bad form, which I think comparatively, you know, you could almost make that argument that this year hasn't been a very good start. Um, because everything that they that they have in their in their kind of the repertoire yeah like yeah. the protocols the the knowledge the kind of strats that are laid out it's Baseline. built on on such a strong foundation that like even an astralis that isn't feeling great individually is still Ooh. terrifying to run into but then there's the and device. not to mention right confidence is replaceable you can build that up throughout a game thanks to your baseline being so strong and that feels like what we're seeing out of astralis right now they weren't looking very confident in the beginning they were making quite a few mistakes and you could feel the pressure whereas now as this kind of you know as this baseline that they have is starting to find success they're looking more confident they're taking more calculated risks they're they're building that confidence back up to look like the team we know them as. This round is a four on four. And it's all thanks to this AWP duel of Circuit device. Now, Dupree is a nice. dead man in main. Tarek was suspicious of this position after they lose Stan outside. And rightly so. A man down for Astralis and forced into a B play. But only one player here for EG to try and keep them back. Yeah, Obo's coming off of ramp. He can get entrenched in the site before they swing the door, you hope, but always going to be close. Glaive doesn't catch Obo getting into this Antara's position. Cirque supporting with an orb, has double door on lock, and he's called to Obo. He's fine. He just needs to watch that single. Window gets broken. Just trying to scare EG now at this point. If Cirque peeks, he'll see Majisk. He, he's waiting. He wants him to commit. He wants a swing and he might get it. There's a backpack there. Cirque doesn't want to fire too early. Glaive has killed Obo. There's a trade. There's a lineup. Cirque takes a shot and Zip is so low as a result. One on two. 20 seconds to do it. If he wants to plant, he's got to go now. Cirque's traded guns. And Zip now moving behind the bomb site can get that plant in. But in the back line is Tarek creeping right below. Yeah, nice easy cleanup for Tarek. 
It's actually Zip's awareness of what was likely to happen in that retake that ends up getting him killed there. He holds for the uh, the vent push from Tarek. He was very, very aware that that was the likely point of rotation, given that Tarek had killed Dupree earlier on over in main. And so he holds, hoping for that fight to get given over. It doesn't. And in doing so, Tarek is given even more time to get set up in decon to deny the bomb plan. I think Zip knew at that point that that round was likely, you know, already past the point of no return for Astralis. One plant's a nice bonus, right? Bit more money in the in the coffers, but ultimately we've got a competitive game here and that's, I think, what everyone wants. Zip down vent, he made it. They just saw it, they tagged him on the way down. He's going to come up from B and try and clear outside. Stan's leaving this position. Where will EG rotate to? Double ramp. Breezy back up on A. It's very weak right now. And, I mean, Zip, he's got a good position, but there's not really much value to be gained out of it right now. Like, Breezy's not going to offer up this kill. Smoke's come down. Zip, what's he going to do with him? Oh, the scope. Breezy can't see him. He's on the side of his vision. He flicks back above the smoke and gets the kill. That should never be Breezy's. Oh, my goodness, Zip. He had that one on a plate. Yeah, commits to the spray, right? Hoping that just staying true to that fight will get it over the line. Instead, Breezy's oh. still alive, and he might be low, but the numbers are tipping further and further in the advantage of EG. Cirque also brought down low, mollied out of ramp. Still a second man waiting in the wings in Oboe, and he will hold on to the ramp room, refusing to give this up. Device nice. can't find the kill, and finally we get a big moment out of Oboe. Very, very happy that it's arrived to put up 11 for EG. A 3k hold stops Astralis even having a chance to come back into that three on five. And he's almost like doubled his kills in that one round. So hopefully that leads to a bit more of a confident oboe because we know what this guy can deliver. Yeah. Don't want to get it shattered, right, in your first game of, uh, of EPL. Especially considering how competitive this group is, right? Not just Astralis, but the big brothers of Liquid as well who have spent some time here in Europe. And let's not even begin to talk about the rest. So, pressure's on, but EG are mounting uh, you know, the horse. They are they are up for the task right now. Astralis with the eagles. Horse. Yeah, man, right into that finish line. But Astralis, they say nay, as they look <laughs> to try and put this back on top. Of course. Stanislaw. Looking to... Like, I don't know what, buck him from the ride or something outside. <laughs> Nice, it rhymes. That's something we're building upon it. Dupree. Back in the saddle. And into main he goes. Never mind, he'll still clear of the main. And instead, take a brush with death elsewhere. Oh, Dupree. Dead device. Soon to be. He's going to get the full hoof from EG as they kick him in the face and take 12 right back. Breezy's kept up his performance. He had a slow start to the CT side, but he's back in with a vengeance. And Astralis, no bomb plants so and no orb as a result. I mean, Device could glass it, sure, but unlikely to see that on a map like Nuke. It's just going for utility. And so, yeah, we need a big round. We need something sweaty out of Astralis. So though, right? I've noticed okay. when, when I was saying, oh, Astralis doesn't look like them at all. Well, then they pull it back and they were looking really good. And then, and when then, you credit and then I give them loads of credit. Like, yeah, well, that's the thing about this team. They're so good. They're, their foundations are there, obviously. Foundations just crumbling at the oh, seams. Oh, boy. Dupree in with the response. Astralis, though, this is looking shaky. See, I have to talk, put some doubt in the mix. That's how they pick it back up. Oh, Stan with that big kill. Dupree and Device. Oh. You see, Dupree's very, very low. He shouldn't get much oh. from this position. Oh, oh, what? oh, ah. oh, oh, missed shot, but turn back around and Stan will trade it out. That's such a shame. The shot misses. EG up onto 13. He thought he nailed it first time it's around. Not first. He's not yeah. the only guy who's, who's been in that position. That's two right? of them now. Zip had yeah. it happen as well. Man, what's Cirk made of? I don't know. It's breezy in the other situation, but even, even so, like, that's unbelievable. And, you know, Dupree, it's a bad timing anyway, not just the fact that the shot misses, but he, he turns as Stan goes into main. Like, that could have been two kills or at worst at least one at least stand dead
dead. But no, he's just in the spot to flick back and I say trade that kill. Right, well, here it is. Here it is. The big counter jinx to get us an exciting series. Okay, yeah. Well, this should be it. Astralis yeah, yeah. should be done. They've got right? no money. They've got, got no money left and EG have built up a lot of confidence. Everyone's looking good and the frustration is really setting yeah. in. There is no possible way Astralis can win this map. Nothing. Nothing that, could, that could happen. Yep. We are doing everything we can to give you the best series. 30 rounds, baby. All right, what have we got here from EG, though? Because Astralis, they are only on pistols. They're on a bit of utility. Could be a faster approach, some deagles even. EG with a streak of four. Once the money has been there, EG have not let go of the baton. Ollie's into A, but they're not committing off the first volley. Tarek hits one. Trying to stop a vent player, or at least get down him it himself. Molly onto the A site, Tarek tucking. They run out hot. Ooh, look at Breezy, patient up on the rafters. And absolutely wiping the floor with Astralis device and do pre-trade one out a piece. And Zip is gone as well. The fast flank in from Oboe, EG up to 14. And one final buy for Astralis. One final chance to get this game going again. If you don't win this, EG have got it locked in, almost guaranteed. A huge performance out of Breezy, right? Still building upon that incredible first half. One away from 30 in the map. The next nearest in the entire game, 23 on Dupree. Look at the numbers outside. They play spawns. They put Stan in secret. Cirque Orp in Garage as well. So if Astralis see that orb, they're not going to be ready for a second player so close. Tarek scared that Astralis could be out behind the vent, drop some utility. Stan's got the one way that we saw Glaive use in that first half as well on top of the railing. Hard to see. Dupree in the hut. Astralis still taking their time on this default. Still barely moving outside. Cirque's even peeled away from this position. Gone back to the ramp with the orb. That gives outside fully to the controller Stan. He's not really watching it. Like right now, timings can be hit. Astralis can walk into main. They can wrap hell, but that will not be kept forever as Obo moves in, taking back this yard control, getting the info while he does it. Making sure they're not heaven, right? They'd have to be pretty speedy to be indeed. But Glaive in main. Stan getting flashed outside. Does catch Magis from behind. Tarek on top of the uh, hut is able to get another kill. He's doubled up. And this A-site hold is looking luscious for EG. No way in for Zip. Oh, nice flick. Oh. can't get more than one. It's EG almost flawless in that round. Yes. Finding 15 and breaking the money with no bomb plant. It is worst case scenario for Astralis. And I mean, now if you're EG, you're just left with this feeling that nothing could possibly <laughs> go wrong. Yeah. Right, the money gone for Astralis. This A take as well. Like, when was the last time you saw Astralis just get swept aside? Like, it was nothing. Like, like EG didn't even look concerned with what was being dealt their way. We're starting to see smiles on Obo as well, right? Like, he's definitely picked it up. Like, he had a he had a really slow start, but 10 kills now. You know, finding impact, even if he's not getting, like, three, four kills around, he's, he's you know, in the, in the server, certainly. And that's a great feeling, right? Can't imagine how, how he was at the halftime break, right? With only three or four kills to his name, thinking, oh, God, what am I doing? And now having a huge amount of impact against Astralis, as are the rest of the gang, right? EG have stepped it up. Astralis not having the answer. They may have had the timing into A there with no info from Oboe or Stan until it was too late. But still, that A hold is perfect. Here's the weak force by for Astralis up against Map Point. Double AK, double Mac. And EG a stacked ramp as well. Two players there with Yorp. On Cirque, stand back in secret. EG, this is a perfect setup, right? It's very hard to crack this nut. But Astralis, they want to break their way into A. Yeah, they're waiting for the perfect time to strike. Glaive now rejoining his teammates back in the lobby. You're guessing it's going to be soon with him moving over. And here it is. 
In they go, Breezy back Ooh. on the rafters again. And so often this position has served him well, but this time Dupree is able to trade it out. Saying that, he's gone as well. Cirque in heaven puts it back in the advantage of ED EG. The, the, the trades have just been so yeah. concise from EG. And even though this bomb plant's in, it's not a comfortable spot. With the main player in, Stan might get bested Ooh. after one. Ooh. It's a low HP device who can't see this round through to the end. EG grab the defuse, they wow. lock in. Their map pick 16 12 over astralis and now as we look forward to vertigo this entire series